Hey, Gloriana, how you doing? Okay, thank you so much for including your InDesign file. I just want to let you know that I created a video um, on how to uh, adjust rags, um, typographic rags, and I used your file. I hope you don't mind. I used your file as a demonstration file in that video. That's going to be over in the announcements area, so you can go ahead and take a look at that. And of course, let me know if you have any questions um, therein. Um, so I've got your InDesign file downloaded. I don't have it open, but I do have it open, but I'm going to close it because I want to open it again and because I want to show you something. So I've got it downloaded. So let's just go ahead to my download window. We'll click that to open it. And you can see this is, I get this dialog warning box. It says this, this document contains two links to sources that are missing. You can find a relink. So what you want to do is this, is you want to make sure that an InDesign file doesn't proxy the actual um, assets like Photoshop does. It, it actually, well, actually I should say, Photoshop will embed files, right? InDesign and, and Illustrator don't. You have to either embed them or link them. If you link them, that means when you send it off to print, you have to package everything in a folder and include the images so that the, uh, the output uh, service has access to the images, right? Another option is to embed the images. Now, the downside of embedding images is that it increases the file size. My recommendation is to ask your printer when that time comes what they prefer. Quite often, they prefer a PDF file. So PDF files, as we know, embed everything. So there's no issues there. But what we're seeing here is a dialog box that's warning us that the links are, are missing. Okay, what that is saying is that the links are in the file, but my computer doesn't have direct access to them. Therefore, they're showing up as missing links. It's interesting to note that in design, you can take a linked file and embed it. So, so that's another option too. My recommendation therein again is to do some research on the difference between linking files and embedding files in InDesign. I'm going to okay this and that will open your, your document. Here we are. And let me, I, I, right now, I'm, I'm, it's great that you're showing your, your grid. That's really fantastic. And for those of you who are watching along, this is excellent that, that, that the grid is shown here. So that's fantastic. Good job. Gloriana. Now what I'm going to do here to get a better look at what's going on is I'm going to come to the word view across the top menu. I'm going to come down to where it says grids and guides and I'm going to say hide guides. That's going to hide guides and we'll go ahead and take a look. Further, I could come down here and come to a preview mode, right? So we'll take a look at this in preview mode. All right, so we are looking just beautiful. Gloriana, this is gorgeous work. So again, I'm going to place my cursor here. Let's check the margins. Yep, very consistent, outstanding, good use of grid, right? So let's go ahead back. Oh, by the way, I was talking about links. There's the links panel. That's showing broken links right there. Missing link, right? Just so you know, so you can open your links panel to find those. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the poster. Let me move that. I think you're looking, this is just beautiful work. It, it really is. I've really, I, I my only, only recommendation is I just still think that there's a little bit too much space between your paragraphs. And that's a, a paragraph style, by the way. Um, so maybe close that down just a touch. But this is, these, these are beautiful. Your rags aren't bad at all, but I did adjust them in the, the demonstration video. So keep in mind, that, keep that in mind. Um, I did find a, an issue right here. There's two spaces after that period right there. So we just come in there, place our cursor right in there. And we'll bring that back. Okay. I think that was two spaces. Yeah, it's one space. As a matter of fact, yeah, yeah. So so watch that. Go through and watch that. Um, Yeah, I think we're looking good. Now, I did take a look at this. I did take a look at this. Yeah, so let me just do something here. I'm going to go to open type. I'm going to unclick. Um, Context alternatives. Let's go back to open type. I'm going to come down here and I see you've got proportional old style. You've got old style selected. So either th this isn't to me looking like old style. So again, what you could do is come in here and reduce 
the size of those numbers just by a point or maybe two. I think a point looks good. See how much nicer that looks. So watch them. Look at the difference with 1962 and this 1992. So let's go in there and let's just reduce that. Wow, it's looking beautiful, isn't it? That's gorgeous. That works beautifully. So go through, and even though this doesn't have the the, the, the kind of uh, ascenders and descenders we're looking for in old style figures, it definitely is bringing us down to almost in perfect alignment with the X height for this typeface. So that's outstanding. That's Acumen Pro. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this typeface, unfortunately. I apologize for that. But if we come over here and let's say. Trying to find an area. Yeah, it looks like you did reduce the, the size of that point. Unless is that. Small caps you've got. Okay, all right, excellent. So you've got your small caps. All right, so other than that, I think that once you go ahead and take a look at that, that looks great, by the way. Once you go back there and take a look at that, um, Video um, adjusting your rags. You can come in here and and and, and go ahead and adjust your rags. Um, I talked about the space, right? That should be an N dash. I'm not positive it if it is. And I talked about the jury being out on space before and after dashes. I personally don't, but let's see. I want to try something here. Okay, so let's go to end. I'm just going to hit end my end dash, and that's option. Mm -hmm. So think about it. Think about it. To me, that looks beautiful. To me, it looks much more effective. I think it's more attractive than this. Much more attractive. So again, it's personal preference if you want to space before and after. All right, so really, really outstanding work. So there's where we're at. I think you're just <laughs> this is looking so good. So I'm I'm just super pleased with this piece. So let's go ahead and take the video tutorial for setting up your rags and go ahead and, and run it by me again. Let's see where we're at. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much.